Hello everyone, I'm Dracona. If you've seen any of my political and social videos before, then you have some idea of what my positions are. However, I thought I'd establish clearly how I feel about certain topics, just so that people don't get confused, or people don't accuse me of thinking something else. I just want to lay the foundation right here. Firstly, I'm for equality under the law, but not true equality. True equality would mean that everyone is treated the same, and that's a horrible idea. It removes individuality and the concept of meritocracy. If someone is a better worker, or even just a better person, you know, law-abiding and kind, then they shouldn't be treated the same as someone who's lazy, cruel, destructive, etc. Secondly, I'm for justice, but not social justice. I believe that people should be treated fairly based on their actions. They shouldn't be discriminated against for unjustified reasons. This also means that people who work with society, even if they're critical of it, shouldn't be punished. However, those who damage the cohesion of the group by committing serious crimes should be given proportionate punishment. And when I say serious crimes, I don't necessarily mean really, really bad crimes. I mean crimes that should be taken seriously. Like calling somebody a bad name while it sucks, unless it falls under like a hate crime, isn't something that you can make a law about. If I call you a dumbass, that's not breaking the law. Yeah, it's mean, but you'll just have to get over it. Now, ideally, people should be treated fairly by other members of society, which is what social justice is about. But in reality, that's just not the case. We can't stop someone from having their own personal beliefs, and we can't legislate the protection of people's feelings. Justice is fairness under the law. Social justice is interpersonal fairness. Unless someone's breaking the law, there's nothing that can legally be done about interpersonal justice. It's unfortunate that someone should be unfairly treated by another person, but that's life. We all at some point encounter people who are rude or even cruel towards us. Until they act upon their beliefs, all we can do is grow thick skins. Even then, we have to accept the reality that while the outcome should be fair, it won't always be. We should fight for the ideal where things are always fair, but we can't be surprised when someone cheats and gets away with it. Sometimes life sucks. If you can't get past that, then stop living. Those are your choices. As much as I'm a caring and loving person, I'm wise enough to know that love doesn't always win. But what matters is that despite that fact, I keep trying. Interpersonal justice isn't a bad goal, but it can't be put into law. It's up to the people to promote group cohesion and repel detriments to society within legal boundaries. Now, on rare occasions, the laws themselves may even need to be changed, and that's perfectly fine. You know, the only constant is change, and as time goes on, people become different, societies become different, so if you have to change laws, then that's understandable. But you can't write a law, you can't change a law, with a Molotov cocktail or a crowbar. Violence may be the answer on very rare occasions, but just because you want to change society doesn't mean that you should tear it all down. Lastly, I'm not a feminist or even a humanist. If anything, I'm an individualist. I value people's individuality more than anything else. I judge people based on their actions, not based on their appearance, biology, or even their beliefs. Even if I disagree with someone, I argue that what matters most about them are the choices they make. Again, I recognize that there are interpersonal injustices, but it all comes down to individual people with their own unique perspectives. You can't change a group without approaching the individuals that compose it, and you can't judge an entire group as if it were a singular organism. Life is complex and people are unpredictable. The very term individualist is the only one I would choose because it puts the focus on the individual, not the group. I argue for freedom of opinion, freedom of expression, and accountability. I fight for broad concepts such as peace and justice. Going any further to pigeonhole myself risks removing my individuality, my identity as a unique person, because that's really the only identity that matters. So now that I got all that out of the way, I'm announcing a slight change to my channel. To distinguish between when I talk about social justice, feminism, etc., and the other things I do, I'm creating a series called Mental Firefighter. That way, when you see Mental Firefighter in the title, you know that it's going to be about something stupid that someone else is doing. When you don't see it, 
Then you know it's something stupid that I'm doing. The fires of stupidity are burning bright, and the water of reason is the source of our might. I'm Dracona, and have a nice day.